Good morning, everybody. What is happening? What is going on today <laughs> on the vlog? It is Tuesday, the 10th, I believe, and we are riding our bike. Right now, it's not very icy, so I'm fine. That's why I'm talking to the camera, but we're riding our bike, Eugene, with snow and ice. So, check back in with you guys later. I'm on my way to class, by the way. Holy smokes, is it wet out there. All right, so we are back home. I learned a few things about riding your bike in the snow. Never try and turn in the snow. Always try and turn on wet or dry pavement. Mostly wet in Eugene because it never stops raining. Um, also, it's really not that bad. Most of the streets are super clear. All the sidewalks are clear. So if you're just smart about it, it's not unsafe whatsoever. It's a little dark in here. I'm trying to shoot it not so high ISOs. You know what I'm saying? I did, so the class that I went to this morning at 8 a.m., yeah, it's a drag that's at 8 a.m., and shout out to all the people that were out at 8 a.m. this morning, going to their 8 a.m.s after Christmas break. That's gotta be rough, a little rough for me, but the class that I'm taking is a video production class, and I honestly wish that I would've taken a lot more of them in my college career, because that is by far my favorite class, and I've only been in it for like two hours this morning, and we're already learning, like I've learned way more than I ever knew just editing my own videos and stuff and a lot of the stuff that I do actually applies to the class like most of the projects that we're going to be doing are projects that I've done myself a lot of the shots that she's talking about are shots that I just thought looked good but they actually have names to them and I'm really excited for that class basically also I'm posting at five o'clock every day if you haven't noticed thank you for those guys that did comment when I asked you guys whether you'd want to see it at 8 a.m. or at 5 p.m. Uh, the majority of the comments were 5 p.m. There were like 2 or 3 at 8 o'clock. But this gives me some time to edit them. I can basically shoot the vlog the day before and then have all day the next day to edit it and try and post it at 5. I know the last like 2 or 3 videos have been a little bit later than 5 o'clock. And that's just because half the time I have something going on at like 5 o'clock. Sorry, I just saw, saw a spider on the wall up there that I got to kill. Anyway, um, I usually have like some little thing going on at 5 o'clock and I don't have time to edit it, but as of right now I have like an hour before practice and then I have probably like two hours or three hours later after practice in between that time and five o'clock that I can edit the vlog and that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kill a spider and then have a snack and then go to practice. So I'll probably check in with you guys either right before practice or at practice, but yeah, I don't know what we're doing today. Probably running. Maybe a little bit of a bounding. I don't know. Long jump. Long jump and running are basically the only events that I didn't do yesterday that I need to get done today. Uh, we have a meet in Seattle this weekend. But probably just doing pole vault and hurdles. And I think we're running tomorrow. So practice is just a surprise today.
update a considerable amount of time later. I have to apologize for yesterday's vlog. It should have gone up so much sooner. I finished editing it at like four o'clock, so I had an hour to submit it. I was like, this is no problem. I uploaded it and it's still, like as I leave now at six something, it's still not finished uploading. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's our Wi-Fi or if it's my computer actually just being slow. Either way, I apologize because I said that I was gonna upload regularly at five o'clock and I know it's about consistency and that's not consistent to post two hours late. I mean, I'm consistently late, but consistently at five o'clock every day would be fantastic. So I apologize for that. Anyway, um, right now we're going to the wreck because Cole got some new KDs and he thinks that they're gonna improve his ability to dunk. We are about to find out whether that is true or not. I don't know that it's gonna change anything, but if he thinks it is, maybe gives him a little confidence. Uh, it could improve his dunking ability. I don't know, he says he's dunked before. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Devin says he's dunked before. I've never seen that. All right, that's about gonna do it for today, guys. So at practice, I did a little bit of gymnastics. The gymnastics is more structured towards pole vault. Uh, we do some more swings and stuff like that. I didn't end up filming it because I honestly I just forgot that I should probably film it. Um, and then we did discus. Discus is an outdoor event. I don't throw it until I actually do a decathlon outdoors later in the summer and in the spring and we can't really throw it outdoors so we throw it on that wooden platform and into the big net and it just allows us to get a little bit of work in when we can't go outside into the rain and into the snow and that kind of thing um what else do we do today and then we do a little bit of med ball that's just like our like little warm-up that we do before we do any throw is just loosen up our arms loosen up our abs get everything firing and ready to go throw some in this case discus but we do it for shot and jab too Devin's going through his room right now. He just has a ton of stuff. He had like stupid amounts of stuff that he got from the Olympics. So like three or four bags of stuff from the Olympics. And I'm not talking about like bags. I'm talking about like duffel bags from the Olympics. And then plus on top of that, he has all of the stuff that he got here at Oregon. So a bunch of the stuff is just going in boxes and going, getting put away. Uh, but kudos to him for finally cleaning his room. It probably hasn't been clean in four months five months maybe even longer and that's not an exaggeration like definitely before school started way before school started like before he even tore it yeah it's probably been like six months no joke since his room no half a year what it's probably been four months since his room's been clean either way go hang out with family go talk to an old friend Pick up the phone, like I said in yesterday's video, give somebody a call. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go check out my other content. If you actually like it, then hit the subscribe button. If you don't like my content, don't subscribe. Like, I'm not too worried about it. But do hit that like button, and please comment down below what you guys would like to see in future videos. I got some great comments on yesterday's video. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I guess I'll just talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye. Once again.